Hello, welcome to the next episode of Unfinished Business. I don't know what number it is and I'm feeling lazy enough to not look it up, so uh, it will probably be in the title or description. I'm thinking five, I think. I am going to go over purchases, which is not very many. Uh, a few whips and plans, which are many. I'm going to try to make up for my lack of coloring in December, make up for that in January. I am very much trying to be more organized, um, inspired by many who keep coloring journals, which I'm not going that far, I'm just making notes and sticky notes and stuff like that, uh, which I may have to get some of those transparent ones that Jojo Zahanna recently had in her planning video that was those are neato and I do have ballpoint pens so yeah we're gonna jump into sub supplies books whatever um, I got a bunch of white gel pens they are called Bianyo oh, there you go they came in this little pouch it is branded which is cool uh, they are all yeah. Work with me. There we go. One. So I go through a lot of these. I was all of my white gel pens were dying, so I just went ahead and got some of these. Um, I am on a no buy year. Yes, the whole year. I am, there's only going to be very, very, very few and very specific exceptions for the no buy rule. Um, like if I run out of something that cannot easily be replaced, like a white gel pen, I, I have I think one white acrylic paint pen left too and it's about done. So I got those, those should last me a little while, I hope. Uh, next, I, books are books. So I got Funky Flowers by Will Weilertson. Weilertson. Uh, I do have a full flip of this book on my channel. I absolutely love the art. I love the style. This will be so fun. And Unless I do something super crazy, I'm thinking quick colors. Uh, and I, uh, one of my resolutions, which I don't make resolutions, one thing that I want to work on is not making everything so difficult. Let some things like this stay easy. So, that is Funky Flowers by Weilert Sin. And because I liked that book so much, I found a few more of this Weilertson's books, World of Weird Birds. This one is smaller. Pocket size, if you would. That's not going to fit in any pockets I have, but we'll go with it. Yeah, it's a bunch of birds. A few with backgrounds uh, in this person's art style. Poor drunk or dead bird. Woodpecker, one of my favorites. I really like that one. And there is some owls in here. So I'll probably be seeing some owls. That is a very sexual image. And I love hexagons. Some really cool, more detailed ones in here too. And I don't know, are you supposed to draw your own bird? I don't know if I could do one justice. So that is Weilertson's World of Weird Birds coloring book, a pocket sized book. And then I also got their book that is hair. I am 
currently working on one in here. This is going to be for my blue hair, blue eyed person for Nerma coloring. Perfect book for those prompts. I, I'm looking forward to getting a lot done in this book just from those prompts. Uh, and I'd also like to get back into my Hannah Carlson books. I haven't done a huge amount in those either. And they're fun. So there is that. Sticky notes. I, I'm trying to do better. So we're going to put that over here because that is something that I have plans for. And then I have Natural Wonders. I got a Patrick Ruby. Patrick Ruby coloring book. I got this because I saw it on Colorful Pirate. Her last haul. One of her last hauls. She had a huge haul. And I really, really, really liked it. Again, simple stuff. I need to try to keep it simple, or if I'm not, then go all out and do it like I mean it. Uh, and on the back are the original artist renderings. That'll be helpful if I'm not entirely sure what to do. I like that there's blue tigers on there. That is just so fun. So that is my such huge, huge supply and book haul. Yeah, and again, is an oh by year, a whole year. I, I have so many books. And again, supplies, I, I have a lot of supplies, so I, I'm not going to even get a supply unless it is absolutely needed. Uh, I also, I did go today and get a specific pen from the Dollar Tree that I wanted to make sure matched on something that I was doing. So I bought a pen that is not in front of me. It's, it's just a pen. So, yeah. So now we're going to get into plans. Uh, first off, I plan on going to get some printer ink because um, I got sent another book by Lori Craig, The Beauty Within Coloring Book, um, Mandalas. That is what Lori Craig does. And my printer is out of ink. I will possibly, because you can see pretty much what it is, um, try to draw in the lines or just use these for bladder paper. It is not on cardstock because I'm also out of cardstock. So I may, may, a big may get some cardstock if I can find some for a good price so there is that the beauty within coloring book by Lori Craig I will insert a picture of the cover image I don't print that out because we don't ever have color ink which this I want to say the cover on that book was uh, colored by a fellow colorist so next, I have plans and whips, and not in any particular order. So this one is the one, I know I said this last time, that I'm going to be working on first. Um, I have this one and the one in this book that need to be done by this coming Sunday um, for the Ogle Ranny prompt of snow, which this has been a whip for a while uh, since she had a prompt of candle, so a long time ago. Um, but I'm going to finish it, and since it has snowflakes, I will use it for the prompt of snow. I also, for Ogle Ranny, am doing. Oh, 
I didn't say. This is out of Mythographic Wild Winter. Joseph Catambang. It is Dick's bound because it was falling apart. And this is that. Uh, it is a Japanese book, I believe, in French. I got it off French Amazon. We're working on this for the prompt of Parrot. Uh, I am using my Amazon Basics and Jelly Roll Moonlight. Some Jelly Roll Glaze in there. It's going to be fun. I, I am thoroughly enjoying doing this. And to get that mottled look that I have there, I'm just using my marker and on the brush side, dual tip marker, and then going in little tiny circles and purposely not keeping a wet edge so that you get the overlap and it makes that kind of mottled look. And I'm doing that everywhere that there's there's markers, so it kind of looks watercolorish, which this is kind of not great paper. Amazon printed paper, I'm assuming. I don't know. It feels like it. So I didn't want to use a water medium because this paper just does not take it well. Um, yeah, so there's that. Parrots. I also plan on working in dimensions. This is uh, the book that another book that Sarah Simi got me. And I am going to do by Tiger January. This will also count for Color Your Horde. It will also count for Jojo Zahanna's Zodiac, but non-specific Zodiac stuff. So there's that. Out of Dimensions by Francois Gutierrez. Next, I have Tales from the Midnight Masquerade, and I plan on, by Hannah Carlson, getting ahead of myself. T's World of Adult Coloring, it is her birthday month, and she said to do something that is uh, celebration, cake, whatever, uh, and so I chose this page. I've not done anything in here, so it would also be for Color Your Horde. I also have animals doing people things for Colorful Pirate. This mouse is wearing a hat and celebrating. So, yeah. Midnight Masquerade. Hannah Carlson. Next, I am going to work on this whip in Worlds Within Worlds, Kirby Roseanne's. We've seen this before. I haven't gotten anything more done. Um, this is for Kirby Metals. I used a metallic watercolor for the background, for the water. So, Kirby Metals 2023, Happiness Colors Kirby, and Color Your Horde for T and Lavella. I really, really like this. I, I'm super stoked to get back to this. Yeah. And another whip in a Kirby book, it's Mythomorphia. Uh, this too will go towards Kirby Metals Happiness Colors, Kirby. Um, also for Color Your Horde. I have my list here of what I've been using. And there is metallic gel crayon in the background. There is metallic gold in much of the centaur. And then for one color challenge, this is Day of the Cat by Kong Heijin. I believe that is how you would say it. It is a really pretty cover. I like that holographic stuff on there. And for January, the color is gray. Um, it'll also be for Color Your Horde. 
I have to find, I don't remember who that tag is for, so I have to find who that belongs to. But I'm going to do this one, this kitty. This is a fun book. Lots of fun kitties in here. So this kitty will be gray. Next is out of The Princess Bride. So glad that a lot of my whips uh, are going to work toward current things that will give me more motive to get them done. Now uh, this is hashtag magic book January 2023. It's a book. Uh, this movie is based on a book, The Princess Bride. And it is illustrated by Rachel Curtis. It was Rachel and something that started with a C. Can't believe I remembered that. Now this will also be for Color Your Hoard. It'll be the first page that I do in here. Yeah. And another Princess Bride coloring book. Memorable quotes to color. This is also by Rachel Curtis. And this is a whip that uh, just need to do the faces. The rest I did in mild liners quite some time ago. Might get a little bit of metallic stuff in there with the crown. And yes, I know these are buttercups, but I colored them purple. So that is for movies color along for Colorful Louisa, which this one can be that too, movies color along. I did put that on there, awesome. This is Gulliver, wow, Gulliver's New Travels, James Gulliver Hancock, and I started this for Olga Rooney's Bicycle Prompt, and I ended up doing a different page. Uh, and this one, again, a whip that can go for something current. A Colorful Bike Ride 2023 uh, at B2A1N. And that'll be my first finished page in this book, so it can go for Color Your Hoard. Next, out of Astrology. It's a book that I traded with Coffee Lover underscore five. Um, we are actually there's a lot with Coffee Lover that I'm doing over the whole year. Actually, um, we traded three books. She has two still, and we are thinking about doing a full book buddy color. We just have to uh, figure out which book that's going to be. So that'll be fun. These are uh, a lot of Shutterstock images. So there is no illustrator in these. But uh, I am doing for Be Cozy Coloring. Birthday 2023 Capricorn. There's three different versions of Capricorn in here and uh, I like this one the best so we are going to do that one so also count for color your hoard because I have not colored anything in that book yet this is freebies from fulfill works I've followed them on Instagram for a while they have a lot of cool stuff uh, like I said these are all freebies and uh, for coffee lover underscore five, a year long tag of get your freebie on 23. And mandalas is one for defismai. I'm not sure how that goes. 2023. So I'll be doing some of these pretty soon, hopefully in January. I. Also have a buddy color in January with a lovely group of ladies out of Mid-Century Modern Animals by Jen Sky or Ski. And we are doing the kitty page, which I have not started yet because you'll see why in a moment. 
Um, I do have a game plan. So at least there's that. Uh, with Colored by Maya, Doodle Robot 42, JoJo's a Hannah, Colorful Pirate, and Tammy Niebling. Tammy Colors 2, I believe. So. Yeah. That'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Like I said, I do have a plan. Ish. I never fully plan a page. But I've got some ideas. Next, out of Lighthearted Mandalas by Snickerdoodling LLC, I have two. Uh, one is the Snickerdoodling LLC Color Palette Challenge. It is Snickerdoodle U. Uh, and Kim, who illustrated this book, is doing this hashtag and it is a picture of her dog Snickers and then we choose our color palette from that picture. She did this month just to help people out. Uh, pick out her choices of Prismacolors that she thought went with that palette and um, let us know what they were and I do have Prismacolors so I may actually take advantage of that. Um, I'm also going to Use that for the hashtag for this person, too. Again, I don't know if that's supposed to be one word or if it's like part parts of words or what. Anywho, so this is the one that I chose to do for that palette challenge. And then this one, we, Kim, likes to color, who, Kim, Kimberly George, who illustrated this book. We are doing a buddy color uh, that's inspired by Brightbex on Facebook. It's a group that she is part of, and uh, it is split grayscale and color. So, I, well, we are doing the same page on this one. The other one, we chose whatever one we wanted to do, since you know, we're doing all the same color palette. I thought this one looked kind of owlish so you know me and my owls right now slightly obsessed but we both are doing this page this specific mandala in split grayscale slash color so uh, again that'll be a lot of fun and that's with uh, Kim likes to color Kimberly Kimberly George who illustrated this book lighthearted mandalas and her company name is snickerdoodling LLC Next is a Creative Haven book, Whimsical Gardens, by Alexandria, Alexandra Cowell. This was another book that was gifted to me by Sarah Simi. And I'm going to do this page. This is going to be my all purple page. For my Go Fish card that I drew uh, with Coffee Lover 5 underscore 5 uh, for Gone Fishing. That's a hashtag. Uh, it's also going to be for Meg's birthday color along 2023. Uh, one of the things could be purple. And this will be the first page out of this book, so it'll be for Color Your Horn. This is another book that I got from Sarah Simi. I, I'm still boggled by all of that. That is, I, I'm going to be super busy with all these books. Thank you again. Um, this is Color of the Forest by Lottie Ford. And I am going to do this page, which was the first page I wanted to do anyway, uh, for the ABC Challenge, which is... W this month and this is Willow Hollow this is a willow tree uh, if you hadn't seen my previous video I grew up with willow trees and so this was when I was looking through the book it jumped out at me and was like hey this is the one you're doing so Meg's 
ABC Color Challenge 2023, and it'll also be for Color Your Horde. Next, I cannot believe I have not done anything in this book. I've had it for a long time. It is huge. Uh, Color Tronic by Lauren Farnsworth. Started the line. I didn't like how it was going. I didn't have, you know, exact colors. I will finish it eventually. Anyhow. Yeah, you guessed it. It's an owl. Um, it's for a color by number tag, which... I have to find again because I'm not entirely sure whose it is. Um, and I was looking for it earlier and I couldn't find it. So hopefully I will be able to find that before I post it. Um, but I do have the tag. It's in Spanish. So I do not speak Spanish. Uh, and it'll also be for Color Your Horde since I didn't get my other one done. So yeah, that's for a tag as well. I want to say that that is a whole year long tag. So that'll get me into my Disney mystery colors too. So, And this crazy bugger Disney Chateau's huge hatchet hero hardcover book. And it is one that has been with for a while, but I really, 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 really want to get back to this. Uh, it is my Beauty and the Beast page that I am doing neurographic style, also using the uh, solid, non-streaky, water-based marker coloring method that Doodle Robot showed on one of her channels. One of her channels. One of her videos on her channel. My goodness. Again, slow down. Wow. Uh, this is for many, many prompts uh, now that I cannot use it for the seasonal Ogo Rani prompt. But I am still going to post it to that because I know she wants to see it. So, yeah. I haven't done anything else with it. Uh, this is for Disney Birthday Bash 2023. Kate's Coloring Heaven and Addicted to Coloring. It is also for Enchanted Disney Coloring 2023. Uh, Michaela Renee coloring and Meg's art tatum tium art idiom my goodness we'll get there and it will be for color your horde I will also oh that was the last book I will also be uh, participating in more year-long tags and, uh, and some more year-long tags from Jojo Zahanna. She has one that's Tackle Your Treasures, which is kind of a uh, add-on of Color Your Hoard. So if you have a book that is uh, not very colored in, but has a page or two colored in. Uh, no more than five, I believe, are her parameters. And uh, you can color in that for Tackle Your Treasures, which I thought was a very, very good idea because I tend to do one and then try to put it down, which at times is very hard. Uh, and then not pick it up again because I'm trying to do like a page in every book so uh, that's another thing that I kind of want to get away from is you know yes I do need to color in every book that I have but if I'm feeling a book which I'm going to show you here in a minute uh, I, I'm just going to 
go with it. So there's, there's a couple of things that I'm doing. One is uh, Doodle Robot on her last robot report or finished pages. Uh, she had showed a book, a pattern book that she was doing in just black and white. And uh, I said, hey, uh, that is a fantastic idea. And I am going to find a book that I can do that in. So I did indeed find a book that I can do that in. And it is Art Therapy Mosaics. And I am shocked that I got my butterfly page done for the last Olga Randy prompt because I started doing this and it is not even mildly addicted. It is very, very addicting and I love it. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do 100 designs in a year. Uh, we have Doodle Robot and I uh, committed to doing a at least one page a month in, you know, these books. Like I said, I've been kind of going ham in here, so um, it's all mosaics, and I have a couple of pages done. I am also you know, putting notes in here on what I used, like I used Tombow on that page. I did cover this up because I'm pushing a little hard on the other side of this page. This is the ink RTU pen that... Uh, I used up on this page, so I went and got some more today. And currently working on this one. This one is quite detailed. I'm using uh, Arteza Fine Liner and Tombow. And then on pages like this, where I do something that is you know, drastically changing what the original pattern was, I, I'm going to leave a good portion of the pattern so you know what it came from and it still looks presentable uh, and I am putting borders I mean, if it's a pattern where the pattern itself will create the border otherwise I'll put washing tape on there and draw a border because uh, I don't like going to the edge of pages it just one keeps things clean two does not like get all over the place you don't have to use as many blotter sheets because for whatever reason, I can never seem to find a blotter sheet. I have a whole stack of just scrap paper somewhere, and I, yeah. With my art room being in 20 different spots, it's actually seven to be exact uh, right now while we're working on the uh, art apartment. It's, it's difficult to keep track of everything. But I did organize my table, which is awesome, and I organized my books. You see all my notes. I'm trying to be more organized. Uh, and then with pages like this where they're double, I'll do one foreground and one background, just opposites. I'm doing that with Tombow. And then this one, I'm going to use just line work. Uh, and this one I'm using the Sharpie S Gel Retractable Pen. This one I think I'm just going to color straight up. This one I'm using a fine liner that I actually, I got a set of markers from uh, Publishers Clearinghouse a long time back. And uh, that's what I'm going to do with both of these pages. This one I'm going to just color straight up. This one, if it's a pattern like that, you know, again, do the border. There's a border around this one too. And then I actually split it in half so the top half will be foreground and the back half, or bottom half, will be background. And then this one, I think I'm going to do cross hatching and I'm going to just do that much. This one again, opposites. This one I will make borders and then probably split in half. But yeah, these are very meditative 
very fun. This is so going to be a neurographic page. But yeah, bunches of patterns. Uh, and then before I designated this a black and white book, I had colored this like quite some time back. So black and white and then this crazy insane bright page, which is in a previous video somewhere. I did it in February of last year. Yeah, good times. Lots of gel pen. And glitter gel pen. Oh, and I started another page. Um, I think because gel pen and tried paint pen on this side. Uh not really covering how I want it to so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this pattern and make a stencil and then I'm going to just acrylic paint this whole thing black and then stencil the white on top for this side and then where it went through on this side because when I was coloring it before it was a double page, so I didn't care that I went through uh, on that side. But I think this one, I will just paint you know, inside the border with black acrylic or maybe even white. I don't know. And then just make my, my own page, my own design on there, since it is a double page. And I have this here because that white paint is a little tacky for whatever reason. Again, my white paint pen is running out. So, yeah. So yeah, that is what this art therapy mosaic book is for. And since I watched that video and decided that I was going to do it, I've been coloring in this every day. I, I, will, I love doing it. It's just very therapeutic. It is art therapy. Another project that I am working on that I have one more to do, I have videos and I am going to put a whole lovely montage together, um, is I am doing art collaborations with my cats. Um, I am using pages out of the reverse coloring books by Kendra Norton. And the first one that I did was with Binks, and um, again, I will have videos showing, you know, the process of the cats actually collaborating with me and all that fun stuff, but um, I, first one, like I said, was with Binks, so all of the black marks are what I got Binks to make on the page, and then I took that, which was very perplexing for a while. I was just so not sure what to do with it and um, just made whatever came to me art-wise. So did all the, the crazy outlining with Jelly Roll Moonlight and uh, acrylic paint pen and all that stuff. And then I outlined all the watercolor stuff that she already had in the background. And then the next one I did was with Bink, or er, with Tibbs. Tibbs is a Winx Point Siamese. Binks is a orange and white kitty. Kind of made it kind of match them. And all the black marks, which there's a lot more that you can't really see. I'll insert a picture of more of the black markings before I did all the coloring. And then where there was an end or an intersection, I put a white dot. And then the rest, I just kind of morphed out from there and that is the black on this one is sharpie and then I used more jelly roll moonlight these will be in my finished January pages too and then spooky which I'm not done with spookies yet we're gonna have to have a couple more sessions of making marks because he was just not really into it which I really didn't think that he would be Spooky's the, the more skittish of the kitties. And I honestly thought Tibbs or Binks would be more into it than Tibbs, but Tibbs was more into it, so still getting to know the Tibby. But uh 
Spooks. He is a black cat. So I went with Rainbow because, you know, it, he's a black cat. And he was moving it around a little bit. Um, I did use a Tombow with him because I do at times play with him with a Tombow. Probably not a good, you know, the best idea, but at least he was familiar with it. And he just kept waiting on the page, so I just started tracing his paws. Uh, and we will have a couple more sessions to to get a few more lines on there before I go any further with that one. But yeah, look for a a video on my kitty art collaborations soon. Uh, what else do I got going? We're still working on the art apartment. We are oh so close to having another uh, cat video as far as Tibby and Spooks and how they're doing up here. And uh, a lot of work. We're just working a lot. So hopefully I can get all of these things done that I have planned. Uh, I also still have a huge pile of owls that I want to do. And I have gotten a few pages done for the month of January already, which you're not going to see yet. So I will bid you adieu. Thank you oh so much for watching, and I will see you next time.